Hey everyone, how's it going again? It is Baz. Let's see here. Last time, so yeah, last time we just talked about the intro. Today we're going to go into resources, and we'll we will uh, show you the tile map, and then I'll show you how to create a scene and add some tiles to the map. So let's go and click in our log in the program, and then click on our PGM tutorial. It just takes one click, and you are in the the, air, the scene area where it's that menu scene that I don't really know how to work yet. But everything's blank. We don't got much to do yet. Um, but we have to start with our resources. So now this resource tab is pretty cool. You can move the UI. You can just, you know, it's, it's a lot more uh, friendly in that aspect. You can get what you want on the screen. And it starts you off with some fonts. And that's really about it. So... To get a new resource, you can right click and do add image, or you can click right here to add an image. So we can just click, and I have, um, should be in the description, um, some assets to use. We've got 38, uh, 32 by 32 tile set right here. And when you load it, it wants to know the image partition. So basically you're just counting the cell sizes. So in RM, it did this for you, but uh, with us, so you just take the, um, how big the image is and just divide it by the tile set. So the horizontal ended up being uh, 40 tiles wide and the vertical ended up being 36 tiles wide. And then you can click update. You can also zoom in you can see your tile sets a lot better. The format does not matter at all. That is one cool thing about this. The format does not matter. Um, and then there's some stuff right here that you can use. I haven't dabbled in these yet. It looks like it stores some sound effects and uh, certain variables and stuff. I've mainly just know how to import <laughs> images. Uh, one cool thing that is available in PGM is you can add, say, a folder, and you can title this, say, uh, uh, fonts. And then you can come up here to your fonts, and you can click the top one and shift-click the, la the, yeah, the last one, and then you can move them into the fonts folder. And, and you can have a little organization, so you can add another folder and call it uh, tiles and then put the outside tiles in there and it doesn't affect um, what you've already done say that you already uploaded tiles tiles in your tiles and then you come back to resource and put in a folder it's it's okay it it you don't have to redo anything all right so now let's add an image this way and we're going to add the player and let's zoom in and you can see that he's starting, he's just idle right here, and then he starts walking um, in the next two, and there's even a blank one next to them. Then you come down here, and there's a four animation sheet for uh, a four sprite per direction attack. And again, it, it doesn't matter. You can have it any order you want. You just need to let it know, how do I partition this uh, sprite? So in this case, it's four by eight, four wide, eight down. And you update it, and then just to show this off a little more, make a folder called player, and put in the player sprites. So now we've got just a nice organized hierarchy. And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a tile set. Again, you can move this in and out, um, pretty adjustable. And we can just add a new tile set. We'll call this outside. Uh, we want standard. I haven't messed with gimmick or auto tiles yet. Um, this would probably be for the water and, and uh, or not for water actually, just, yeah, for the, the grasses and, and making the dirt trails and stuff. So I'll just show you standard gimmick or uh, standard and we'll just have, that'll have to do and you can experiment. You'll notice that the folders pop first, and then you go and you select um, the file. 
can make a note if you want. Otherwise, you just import it. Now, here's your animation. So you can click a tile. Say you want some water. And I won't go over this, how to do it, because I actually haven't done it. But I do know this would be where you do it. Is, yeah, you click a tile, and then you go to animations, and you have these settings. You can play back and add. I'm guessing, I bet you could add all of these and make an animation out of it. Um, the basics is all I've really done, and it's mainly, I've only done the wall detection, which is um, what sides is basically blocking the player or people that, or objects that are detecting walls. But there's a bunch of different options that I haven't even messed with, and this is, and you can also adjust the, uh, the hue, and it updates it right in the editor here. You can... Do that to anything you want. Um, I don't think you, yeah, you can. You can select multiple tiles, and you can do that. Um, let's see here. You can make notes again. This will show a grid, and this will take it off. Um, this one again. What does this one do? Okay, I can't really matter. You can also zoom in like this, but again, it's not like it's it's just whole rounded numbers 50s 25s it's it's not very flexible um hopefully they change that when they're doing their ui upgrade so now we got a, a tile map now we need to create a scene because you can't do a t uh, tiles in this scene for some reason so you add a scene you can you know add a scene right here or you can click adds right click and then add scene and we'll just name this scene um starting map and you can set a BGM, you can do all these things, you can specify the screen width. Uh, I'm just going to do one to one to get the 1280 by 720. Um, one thing down here that I've noticed is, say you do set the screen uh, more width and height, the this the solid red block box will be where the player object can go and the solid blue box is where the camera can follow so it, you can kind of create these partitions and maps um, where the camera or the player won't be able to see anything if if you do want to create a bigger map and you want the player to be able to go everywhere just make sure that you click all and all um, that's just uh, one one thing that was told but now that I've figured out how to do the resolution, I just keep it all one-to-one. -one. And then uh, we want to adjust this back to 720, or uh, 1280 by 720. And then we add our tile set. We want the outside, and then we just hit OK. And there's some other stuff too. There's a menu screen, preload. There's just a bunch of stuff to uh, mess around with, really. So we're hitting OK. So here we go, here is our scene. And you'll see that we have tiles right away. We also have objects, which we have not got into yet. But let's just lay some tiles down. And you'll notice, or okay, well let's just do this first. Let's lay some tiles down, that's cool. Can now do the uh, rectangle thing. Can now delete tiles. Um, you can do the thing also Oh, when you're on this, you can do the thing where you can right click and then that will be your new tile and then you can right click right here and then that will be your new tile, just like RM, which is nice. Um, and then uh, you can paint. So just paint the scene. And I, I don't really want to get too big into this. Whoops. Control Z does its thing. This is something. And I won't get into that yet. All right. So yeah, here is the the basic map. So we've imported resources. We've imported our tile set, and we imported our player. Which the next thing that we will go over will be the animations, and it will probably just be the animations because animations take a little bit to set up. Not it's not too bad at all. So yeah, until next time. Baz out.